and welcome to the Spotlight Photographics webinar tutorial video series. Uh, today we'll be talking about the game day sportswear uh, shirt template called Cheer Spirit. This is located on the game day sportswear PSD template volume series 1 DVD collection. It uh, can be purchased on our website at spotlightphotographics.com. And uh, to get started here we're just going to go into Photoshop and open up the DVD and you'll see we're already on the cheer spirit design here so we're just going to drag the front and back templates into Photoshop you will have a front and a back side again these are all used for Colorado Timberlines PCM Durango full sublimated shirts and to do these correctly with them you have to save a front and a back as a JPEG once you're finished designing your shirt so that you can upload them for order so we do have a front and we have a back so on the front side we have the team name, team logo, if you want to put your logo in here. Uh, you'll notice that it's in a specific position. And the reason why we keep our samples on here is so that you can see uh, the dimensions and the placement of where you are going to put, want to put your items. Um, if you go any higher or any lower than, uh, for example, what's on the back here, if you go any higher than where her head is, go any lower than the bottom of her legs, or out farther left or right, you risk having those images go off of the shirt when they're cut or uh, maybe wrap around the side of the body of the shirt where you, you don't want that you don't want to you want to be able to read and see the image on the, the main part of the back and not actually have it wrap around so you can actually read the name so um, if you don't have guides in here already when you open these up you can quickly come up to your rulers palette up here and just click and drag down a guide to her head there so that you know I can't go any higher than this line and you can also drag down and put one here and we'll go ahead and drag from the left ruler and say okay this is the edge of the words and the other edge of the words so we know that if we keep everything inside of this box it's going to be on the main part of the shirt so that we don't go too far off of uh, the, the design obviously you have a lot of area around the shirt that is going to be empty. It's going to have just a design on there and there, there's a reason for that. Uh, the way that these work is they print these out on a full sheet, lay these on the shirt and that's how they're sublimated. So that's why we have all this dead area. It doesn't mean that all of this area here is actually going to make it onto the actual shirt product but for the sake of design and so that we have a full bleed uh, this is how we have to have it. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to change this cheerleader out for a different cheerleader uh, from a different team that's not red and white and black. Uh, in fact, it's going to actually be red, white, and a burnt orange. So to get started here, we're going to right-click on the player layer, and you'll see over here that this layer has an outer glow applied to it. Uh, so that if you want to keep this effect, it's very simple. Just right-click on this layer and say Copy Layer Style. Now, at this point, we can turn this layer off, we can delete the layer, uh, as long as we stay in this area, we can very easily drag in our already extracted PNG file. Uh, you can extract in Photoshop or you can actually have um, a company extract them. We do offer an extraction service on our website, spotlightphotographics.com. Um, at this point, all you need to do is just drag your image and resize it. Uh, if you hold down the Shift and Alt keys on the PC, uh, you can actually shrink in proportion and bring that in. So right here, I'm going to make her a little bit bigger, but you can see I'm over the line. So I'm going to bring her down a little bit. Mm, she looks a little big still. I'm going to bring her down just a little more. And and don't feel like this is going to be really small in the shirt. you got to remember, this area that we talked about is primarily the, f the, primarily the size of the shirt. The rest of this is just spill off. So this is actually going to be a pretty good size the way it is, even though it looks small in the template. Uh, now at this point in Photoshop uh, 6, when you drag in an image, it's coming in as a smart object. Uh, to be able to edit this and do a fade up on her legs, uh, what we have to do is right click on here and say rasterize layer. That way now we can edit this, we can change the color properties if we want to do color correction. Or to do the fade up, we're going to simply come over to our eraser and we are going to right click and increase the size of this eraser quite large so that we have a good size brush not too big I usually say about the size of the image and make sure that the hardness is all the way down to zero this will give us the maximum feather 
So at this point, we're going to just come down here to the bottom and sweep across while holding the brush down and just slowly come up until we say, okay, that's how I like that. That, that fades out nicely there. So at this point, we're going to come back over to our arrow tool and we can start changing this template over because you obviously can see this burn orange does not match the red. Now in the cheer spirit design, we'll start from the bottom and come down here to where it says main background color. Now this is just a paint uh, paint bucketed color so very easily on this one we can come over to our paint bucket tool and come down to our selection color selection just by clicking on it now we can actually come in and color pick on her uniform and we can get that burnt orange color uh, if we have a color code from their team uh, some teams have color codes you can put that in right down here uh, but for the sake of showing this I'm just going to do a color pick uh, for the shirts, I, I recommend getting a color code if possible from your team. So now what we're going to do is just say OK. That's going to apply that color to the paint bucket. And now once we're on this main background layer by clicking on it, we can simply just click and fill. And it has changed it to this kind of burnt orange color. Uh, you'll notice that it some colors may not react the right way uh, we have a star overlay up here and this color as you take it off you can see it has that really bright color now <coughs> this is set up on a linear burn if you look up here so if we want to change this we can try different styles of overlays and till we find the right one now that one looks pretty good it's multiply it gives us the effect that we like uh, some colors will work fine with that default, and sometimes you have to change that. So this is the biggest I um, situation people have when they work with this template is this star overlay to make the right effect of the color. Uh, certain colors react differently, but I think that one looks like that burnt orange color, so we're going to stay there, and we're going to work our way up the template. Uh, obviously, we had black stripes here, and you can turn them off and on to see what they look like. We're going to keep those black, but if you wanted to change the color of these, you see the color overlay here. We simply double click on that. It's going to bring up the color overlay feature. And here is your color selection. And you obviously see it's black. And you can change this to different colors if you needed to change that. So if we want to change this to a blue, you simply would do that. And you can see it automatically starts showing you the colors. But for this team, we're going to keep it black. And that looks good. Now, obviously, there's still these red stars. And what we're going to do is look at these red stars and we see, okay, we're going to come up to our, our palette over here and we see the color star overlay and we'll turn this on and off. I always suggest turning the layer on and off so that you can see what layer you're working with. And for this, we're going to want to change these to that burnt orange color. So on the color stars overlay, we're going to click on the color overlay again. Again, it's set to red right now. We're going to use that same color overlay here and we can adjust it down a little darker if we'd like to and there we go okay so now we have a nice burnt orange black and white here so at this point the word Harris is still not uh, not the right color it's got a it's got a red uh, uh, glow around it so we're gonna go to that layer over in the palette the last name layer and we can see this has a stroke feature which is the black and it has an outer glow which is the red so we're going to click on the outer glow we're going to select what color we want again we're going to use that same burnt orange and click OK back out and now it's changed to there now changing the text on these templates is also as easy clicking the text tool we just simply highlight just like you would in any other program word or or whatever uh, and just highlight and then retype so at this point I'm going to type in uh, Henderson now look at that it's too far that's way too far so here's how we fix this once you get done typing it you're just gonna come up and apply that type and then we're going to do a free transform you can come up and say edit uh, free transform or you can use the hotkeys control T and at this point we're just going to drag the middle all the way over until it's on the edge and that looks good and we can now drag it down and the same with the first name we'll say that her name is actually Lisa and there we go 
Now at this point, we're done with this side, and all we have to do is just repeat those steps that we did to change this side. At that point, we are just going to save this as a JPEG, so we're going to do a Save As, which the hotkey is Control Shift uh, S, and we can just now save this as the at, um, Lisa Henderson shirt back and then save this as a JPEG. If you want to save it as a PSD file, uh, I recommend saving it as a new PSD file. Don't save it over top of the initial uh, template. That way you don't uh, write over the ones you have. And we'll just, uh, you just hit save and then that's the files you use to send to Colorado Timberline. Again, if you have any further questions, you can email me at sean at spotlightphotographics.com. You can also visit our website to look for uh, other video tutorials at spotlightphotographics.com. And if you have any questions, you can also call me at 904-398-4355. Thank you very much, and we look forward to seeing you at our next webinar tutorial video.